Hi, I am Melissa and I work with Dr. William Collins, a board certified neurotherapist at Reintegrative Health Institute in St. Louis, Missouri. Some of the more common questions parents ask Dr. Collins are related to what is involved in a typical session of neurotherapy or neurofeedback therapy. What do you do during an appointment? How does it work? How can it help adults and children with learning disabilities or ADHD? Understanding what happens during a typical therapy session will help eliminate some of the fear and angst a person may have about neurofeedback treatment. This therapy does not involve needles or any pain to a person. It is a safe way to learn how to utilize the brain's potential. Dr. Collins says that neurotherapy or neurofeedback therapy is often suggested for adults and children with learning disabilities or ADHD. The training typically involves using 3 to 19 sensors at various locations on the head and ears. When using three sensors, one sensor is placed on the ear and the other two are positioned on the scalp at specific locations determined by the brain map or QEEG. The client sits at a computer station with two monitors and a technician or neurotherapist. After taking an initial brain map reading of the client's brain waves, goals are set to increase or decrease a particular brainwave frequency. These goals pertain to something the brain needs to work on, for example, relaxing or focusing. When the goals are met, positive reinforcement or feedback occurs. This is usually through visual cues such as an airplane flying or an auditory signal such as bell ringing. It is through this process that brainwave patterns shift over time. Many times a technician or neurotherapist can also use movies or video games to help engage children. Neurofeedback therapy can enhance the way the mind works and helps people who are having difficulties in school, work, or social situations. If you or someone you know is struggling with children with learning disabilities, children with ADHD or ADD symptoms, sensory integration dysfunction disorder, or any type of child discipline issues, check out our additional videos. And for more information about brain mapping, QEEG, or neurofeedback therapy, be sure to visit our website www.learningdisabilitiesstlouis.com and download a free copy of Dr. Collins' special report.